Let's bring in WBZ political analyst John Keller now. John, this will have an impact on policy and politics. Let's start with the policy first. Well, I mean, first, let me say I'm shocked, and I don't shock easily because two adjectives come to mind when you think of Rachel Rollins, smart and tough. Uh, so the idea that she's walking away uh, from that job suggests that there's serious material in that report. Now, as far as impact on policy goes, as Cheryl just noted, uh, uh, Rachel Rollins, during her time as a DA, was associated with a, a set of uh, policies, criminal justice policies, that were controversial. She became nationally known for them, uh, but they've also become increasingly popular in many cities around the country. Could that have a spillover effect? I, again, we're going to have to wait and see what's in there. Mm. Uh, but uh, certainly it's going to have political ramifications. All right, so let's talk about that next. This is an investigation that is taking place under the Biden administration. Yeah. Yes, there were Republicans who were dead set against her nomination in the first place. Um, but what do you make of, of the political angle here? Well, uh, President Biden has made a point of reserving U.S. attorney jobs around the country for black uh, attorneys. Uh, fully uh, half of his nominees so far have been black. Uh, Rachel Rollins was one of eight black female nominees uh, by the Biden administration. So that leads you to think that to fill the opening, they may look that way again. Now, there are several, there are many mm -hmm. qualified nomin uh, potential nominees, black women in the, in the law around here. Uh, most notably, the Attorney General, Andrea Campbell. Uh, you've got the uh, Chief Justice of the Mass Su Supreme Judicial Court, Kimberly Budd. So uh, that's going to be uh, quite the guessing game and the mentioning game when that gets underway. Yeah. But again, shocked. That's what I am right now. And as Cheryl mentioned, the paperwork for this, has not been made public yet, so there will be a lot more to learn about this investigation. John, thank you so much. And stay with WBZ and CBS News Boston as we learn more about what led up to Rachel Rollins' resignation and what comes next.